Takahashi became the first competitor to fail the tackle tank. Well, anyway, well, here he is, the speed demon of Ninja Warrior of Roblox, who is making his 15th appearance. Shaming to become one of the best competitors on the course, and he is aiming to be the second competitor in Stage 1. And now he's aiming to be the second competitor to beat Stage 1 for five straight tournaments. Almost, um, uh, had a sloppy fail in the rolling boulder, but don't do it now. Anyway, he's on the panel flips. That should be no problem for him, mainly because he's the one who made the panel flips. <laughs> and now you see why he's a speed team. Look at that. He's got 70 seconds left. He's already up to the jumping spot here. And I said, I've said this before, that 9 times out of 10 competitors who go fast on this course tend to slip up somewhere, either early or late on the course. But Aussie Bro is, one, is basically that 10th competitor who manages to beat the course and not fail at all. Or, it has caused some trouble in a few tournaments, but not since Tournament 11. Anyway, I guess Tournament 12 is the first time he got a streak going. But anyway, he's on to the Pillars of Doom. Sultan almost undershoots and almost falls in, but he does, and he quickly recovers himself, and he is aiming to get the fastest time, and is he gonna do it? Yes, he does! Austin Pro takes the fastest time of the day by clearing with 33.9 seconds left. If X and Elise had been playing around near the end, he probably would have had the fastest time, but nope. And he has become the second competitor in Ninja Warrior Pro Plus history to clear the first stage for five straight tournaments. Beat the panel blitz with no problem at all. Speeds his way up to the jumping spider, clears that with no problem. And yeah, he was just overall flawless. I mean, he almost slipped up at the end of the Pillars of Doom as he almost undershot the jump and almost fell into it. That would have been disastrous. But he didn't. He quickly, um, you know, corrected him, um, those potential fails, whatever. And he punched his second, second stage, become the fifth to second pair to do it for five trade tournaments, and he does it with the fastest time. Well done, Ozzy Bro. You deserve it. His fifth straight appearance in stage two, and his tenth appearance overall. Tenth appearance in the stage, I mean. Anyway, he became the second competitor in Ninja Warrior Roblox history to defeat Stage 1 for five second consecutive tournaments, the first being for Ripu. In this tournament, he cleared Stage 1 with the fastest time. Uh, almost undershot the uh, presented first set on the Triple Seven ladder. Uh, he's lagging a bit. Oh, he undershots the jump to the third set. He quickly recovers, getting up it. Uh, he's starting to lag just a little bit on the Triple Seven ladder now, and he gets through it. Now for the Spider Flip. Now he's starting to pick up the pace. That's a speed demon we all know and love. Domino Hill now. Oh, he's rushing it. I tell him to be careful, but this is Aussie Bro. Careful. Oh! Domino still, still um, uh, tilt backwards, but he managed to jump off just in time and at the right spot. <laughs> yeah, our ball to swing now. Ooh, he almost undershot the jump to the swing. He's through it nicely. Metal spin now. Can he get the fastest time in this stage? He's down to 30 seconds. He can still do it, but he's going to have to be perfect on the thin path. Gets up the first wall nicely. Second one nicely. Now nope, he's bunched up to the wall. You can't do that. Big up, backed up now. Kind of got stuck in the wall. And he's going to clear in stage two with not the fastest time. He was just under him. Um, X and Elise time by over a second. But Aussie Pro is moving on to the third stage once again. Yep, he had a few trips on the uh, Triple Salmon Ladder, but he eventually got up. I guess that one little stumble on the uh, Triple Salmon Ladder and the little slowdown on the Thin Path cost him from getting the fastest time in the second stage. But really throughout his entire run, he was kind of laggy a bit, but it wasn't enough to stop the Speed Demon. Had a few close calls, but was not enough, and Aussie Pro, for the first time in his career, is moving up to the third stage in back-to-back -back tournaments. Well done to the Speed Demon, now we have four competitors moving on to the third stage. Overall, and is it the first time in his career where he's beaten stage two in back-to-back -back tournaments, and where he's the last man standing in a tournament? Alright, he faced the roulette cylinder. He's going through the spam jump technique, and it kind of looks like he's doing a mixture of a spam jump on the sides of the um, uh, roulette cylinder. And well, it looked like for a minute he was using the um, the uh, transparent bricks to uh, give him a bit boost. And yeah, it kind of looks like he's doing a bit of a combination of that. Well, it's working out for him, slowly but surely. 
I know he's a speed demon and all, but... Um, speed is not exactly key on this obstacle. Or at least it's showing. No one's able to get through this obstacle fast. <laughs> I mean, he's getting through this obstacle faster than all the other competitors. And it's working out for him. Alright, he's near the end of the track. Alright, he's allowed to dismount. He wants to make sure it gets all the way to the end. And he does, so now he's got to dismount, and he does. Now with this fight, he's rushing it. Oh, come on, Aussie, no! He has fallen on the Six Flags. Oh, and Tournament 16 has come to an end. It's all over. Ah, uh, he rushed the obstacle. You're, that's not what you're supposed to do on this. If you want to know what I mean, let's take another look at it. I mean, look at it, he rushed the obstacle in this tournament. I know he's the speed demon and he likes to go fast, but if you look closely here, he just barely got onto the fifth pole and well undershoot it. He did not realize that he was that he wasn't up to the edge of the fifth flat pole to make the jump to the sixth flat pole. Now we take a look at his run in the last tournament. He was doing the obstacle slowly, and he took his time before making the jump to the last flat pole, and he ended up clearing it as a result. But in this tournament, I don't know if he forgot or whatever, but he rushed it. And I think that's what cost him this time around. And unfortunately, the speed demon has fallen on the sixth floor.